The lion is the king of the jungle and one of the most dangerous animals on the planet. Many animals die in battle with it, but can the lion itself fight off predators and not die? Will the lioness be able to repel the attack of a dozen or more dogs at once, protecting its cub and risking its life? Let's find out! In this episode, I'll show you this fight and other epic battles involving lions, as well as tell you the most interesting and informative facts about the kings of the jungle. Let's go! Lioness vs. African Wild Dogs Unlike other members of the feline family, which lead solitary lives, lions are social animals. Males and females enter into long-term and stable relationships and form prides, communities that resemble families in many ways. As a rule, a pride consists of one to three adult males, several related females, and their cubs. Prides may total 40 individuals. Lions do not stay in one place and roam as a family in search of food and a comfortable environment. The task of the males in the pride is to procreate and protect the territory from predators and other males. Sometimes when it's necessary to kill big game, males participate in the hunt. Lionesses dedicate their lives to getting food as well as caring for and raising offspring. They teach the lion cubs the craft of hunting and fiercely defend them from enemies. This video is an example of how selflessly lionesses are able to protect their cubs from attacks by predators. We see a pack of African wild dogs attacking a lioness and its cubs, clearly intending to eat them. These dogs choose the sneaky tactic of attacking as a pack. This allows them to cause substantial damage even to such a large predator as a lion. What happened was the result of a conflict that arose when a pack of dogs invaded the territory controlled by a lion's pride. The male head of the pride, which job it is to protect the territory from outsiders, confronts the African wild dogs and kills one of them. It brings it to the members of its family and they divide the prey according to the hierarchy. The dogs retreat, but they do not leave. They've already matured a plan of revenge. They choose the moment when one of the lionesses and its cub are away from the other members of the family and decide to attack. The dogs surround the couple, attacking the big cat from one side or the other and inflicting painful bites. The lioness is forced to defend itself and the lion cub. At one point, it makes a decisive attack and thereby draws fire on itself. The dogs leave the cub and switch to the lioness. The cub manages to take cover in a safe place. The battle continues for some time. The dogs continue to attack, but the lioness is not going to give up. It strikes back, forcing the dogs to retreat. Eventually, other members of the pride come to the lioness's aid and together they manage to repel the dog's attack. Lion vs. Antelope A couple of years ago, a video appeared on the internet in which the king of the jungle created a traffic jam on an African road, hunting the greater kudu antelope in front of the eyes of the drivers. The footage shows the lion striding stately along the roadway, obstructing cars. Suddenly, several greater kudu antelopes appeared on the road. When the lion saw the potential prey, it attacked the antelope in front of the dumbfounded witnesses. It took the king of the jungle only a minute to deal with the antelope. Buffalo vs. Lions In South Africa's Kruger National Park, a buffalo fought lions just meters away from the shock tourists. 39-year-old Jennifer Coleman and 32-year-old Lycan Tonkin witnessed the incident. They were on the same tour in different safari jeeps and were able to document the unique battle from two different angles. The lion clung to the buffalo and wouldn't let go. The victim resisted to the last and tried to throw the predator off. According to the tourist, the animal was confused, being trapped by the lion's pride, and crashed into the jeep with a rumble. But it should be said that this only played into the hands of the animal because the lion was frightened by the noise and ran away, allowing the victim to run in the opposite direction. However, things turned out quite differently afterwards. A lion helps a lioness with a buffalo. The video begins with a lioness slowly approaching a huge bull but being frightened of it, immediately retreats. At that second, the lion comes to his rescue. It rushes after the buffalo, jumps on its back and sinks its teeth into the buffalo's spine, trying to bring it to the ground. When the bull tries to break free and run away, the lion jumps on it once more and bites into its neck. The defeated buffalo falls to the ground. The video ends when the victorious lion is joined by two more predators to taste the prey together. The Lion Saved the Warthog 
Tourists in the South African town of Marloth Park, on the edge of Kruger National Park, witnessed an unusual conflict between lions that ended with the escape of the warthog they had captured. According to the author of the video, 54-year-old engineer Kobus Visser, his attention was drawn to the pride of lions. First, we saw the male and then we noticed two lionesses. At first, they seemed calm and relaxed, but then the female suddenly got up, lined up, and the hunt began," said Kobus. The lionesses grabbed the warthog that had passed by and were about to eat it, but the male came rushing in. It pushed one of the females and the other got up and left on its own. The warthog, left unattended for a moment, took off running. The lion ran after it but could not catch up with it. In the end, everyone was left without food. The lion clearly failed in this hunt, but it was rather an exception. The kings of the jungle are excellent hunters, and not only hunters, there are many other interesting facts about them. Stay tuned to learn the coolest and most unexpected facts about lions and see them in action once again. Jaws and Head The bite force of the lion is 640 pounds per square inch. This is enough to cause irreparable damage to a rather large opponent. When running, lions are capable of speeding up to 50 miles per hour. At the same time, such rapid runs are not very long. Also, lions can jump to a height of more than 10 feet. Interestingly, lions are far from being champions in terms of bite force. The bite force of some fighting dog breeds, for example, the English Mastiff, is about 540 pounds per square inch, which is about comparable to that of a lion. Lions do not have very powerful jaws. This is due to the peculiarities of their hunting tactics. Unlike other big cats, lions hunt in groups, often use their paws in combat, and usually eat their prey right on the spot. Lions have very strong and sharp teeth. There are four fangs which can be up to 3.1 inches long, as well as a pair of predatory teeth which lock like scissors and allow the predators to effectively separate skin and meat. The strength of lion's jaws is enough to crush the bones of their prey with a single movement. The surface of a lion's tongue has a special structure. It's covered with jagged edges and resembles the surface structure of sandpaper. This allows predators to separate meat as well as to comb out trash and dirt from their fur. This feature is common to all members of the feline family. Your domestic cat's tongue is essentially the same as that of a lion. Lions have a strong brain pan. They often use their forehead as a weapon against rival lions and other predators. Also, they have very thick skin and dense fur which protects them from thorny plants and allows them to hide in the thicket while hunting. Males have a luxurious mane that covers their head, shoulders, and neck and protects them from bites in battle. Females have no mane. This is one of the reasons why lionesses hunt more successfully than lions, because their mane often gives the latter away and scares away the prey. In addition, the mane can contribute to overheating, especially when males have to wait a long time for their prey on hot days. Paws and Claws Lions have strong and sharp claws that are up to 2.7 inches long. They use them as weapons. Also, lions use them to make marks on tree trunks, marking their territory. A lion's paw is second only to a tiger's paw. The punching power of the lion's paw can reach 397 pounds. This is enough to seriously injure or kill a person. Sense of Smell Lions have a well-developed sense of smell. They need it to recognize their territory or that of their competitors, as well as to track down game. There are a huge number of olfactory receptors in the navel cavity. Lions also have a special organ, the Jacobson's organ, which plays an additional role and helps them to detect prey and game left by other predators. Voice Characteristics The roar of a lion is the loudest of all cats. The sound level of a roaring lion can reach 114 decibels. The roar of a predator can be heard up to five miles away. If a lion were to roar near a human ear at full volume, it would inevitably cause damage to the eardrums and deafness. Who is stronger than a lion? I think it makes sense to say that lions are much stronger than humans. It's estimated that a person is inferior to lions in terms of a strength by an average of 7.5 times. But a gorilla is stronger than a lion. It has more powerful jaws, and its bite force is about twice as strong as that of a lion. Gorillas have perfectly developed muscles that allow them to grab, 
lift, break, tear, and smash various objects. But despite their great strength and powerful jaws, they cannot compete with lions in terms of hunting skills. Lions, though inferior to gorillas in strength, are excellent predators, while gorillas are not. Therefore, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, the lion would most likely win. In terms of muscularity, lions are also inferior to tigers. The tiger's body is a bag of muscles, but lions have a stronger skeleton. The tiger is also superior to the lion in the bite force, biting at about one and a half to two times harder than the king of the jungle. Also, tigers are champions among big cats in terms of the punching power. They're stronger than lions, but the latter have a serious advantage. They hunt together in contrast to tigers, which prefer to hunt and live alone. This allows lions to get more food and better nutrition. Lions, like tigers, are skilled fighters. However, the fighting style and tactics of these animals is different. Tigers strike powerfully with their forepaws while standing on their hind legs. Their tactics resemble those of a boxer. A tiger breaks the neck of its prey with its paw. Sometimes tigers drag their prey to ponds and drown them. Lions, in contrast to tigers, do not stand on their hind legs, but try to stand on all four paws and strive to bite their prey's neck. In fact, lions are not inclined to engage in a confrontation unnecessarily because they're pretty lazy. Most of the day, they rest and store their strength for the really necessary hunting tools. Skirmishes between them are somewhat rarer than between tigers. As a rule, battles occur when one male penetrates the territory of the other. And that's all, guys. Would you like to see lions in person? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you later.